This video is sponsored by TrueMatch. Hey everybody, this is Steffi Hogan from Creative Pro and today I am going to show you basically how to use clipping paths within PowerPoint. Now, we don't call them clipping paths. They're actually uh, a special crop function within the program. So let's just go right ahead and get started. Let's go with this nice little lamb here for the moment. Have this picture selected. Now, when I have a picture selected, we get a contextual menu up here called Picture Format, and in there is where all of the crop tools are. You may be familiar with just the regular old crop tools. So if I hit that button, I get the black handles, which I can drag to crop the photo. I could grab the round handles to resize the photo within the crop, but there's more we can do than just that. So having this photo chosen again, let's go up to that crop button and click on the drop down menu instead. We have other features here, crop to shape, aspect ratio, fill and fit. So let's go over those. First, let's start with crop to shape. So let's choose something. Well, let's go diamond today. Okay. So I've cropped that to the shape of a diamond. And if I hit the crop button again, you'll see that if I now grab these black handles and move them around, it keeps the shape instead of reverting back to a rectangle. And also, again, we could still grab those round handles and resize within the shape. That automatically took on the aspect ratio of the image we selected. However, we can also choose to automatically crop to an aspect ratio. So we don't have to like drag things around and guess what a one-to-one -one might be. So instead I will just go in here and I'll choose one-to-one. -one. And now we've cropped to a one-to-one -one ratio diamond. Okay, now let me show you the fit and fill things really quick and then we'll move on. So let's say I have this picture and it doesn't quite fill up the whole thing. I, you never know how it gets this way. But if I go up to crop and I choose fill, it will expand the picture large enough to fill the entire shape. Uh, if this is too big and I want it to go back down and I don't want to drag the handles, instead I can go to crop again and choose fit. And then it will choose the biggest dimension of the original image to fit within that shape. So now we ha it's a little funky. We have some uh, empty space here. For this one, I just want to go back to fill for now and center it a little bit. You can do this to multiple images at a time, the crop to shape piece. I want you to see all four of these. Now, all of these images here are all different aspect ratios and sizes. If I select all of them, what you will find is under picture format and crop, everything is grayed out except for crop to shape, which means you can crop all of them at once to the same shape, which is really very handy. Let's choose that diamond again. What you cannot do is bulk update the aspect ratio for each of those. So if I want a one to one aspect ratio, I have to go in and do each one individually and then, you know, just drag the, the framing to the way I would like it to be. So crop aspect ratio one to one, um, bring our little guy in here. He's so small. Let's make it bigger. There we go. Now he's peeking out the side. Great. Our little monkey one to one and the wolf one to one. So while these are not the traditional clipping pads that you may be used to, there's still a way to crop things to a specific shape. So there we have it. We have our little animals all in a one-to-one -one ratio. So I hope this helps inspire something cool and creative. Go play around with the crop to shape and crop to aspect ratio functions in PowerPoint. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.